This is my second in a series on canine massage and today we're going to focus on the spine. Um, everybody always wants to learn how to massage their dogs and it's super fun and it's a great way to enhance the bond between you and your dog. A couple of disclaimers before you start massaging a dog. Make sure your dog isn't sick, fever, active infection, cancer, broken bones, sprain strains. You want to wait until those things have healed before you start doing massage. You also want to make sure that your dog wants to do this. Um, don't fight with your dog. If this is something that you guys both aren't in agreement with, um, let it go. Having said that, massage is a great way to relax these tissues. A lot of dogs, especially our older dogs, get really tight backs. And what you want to think about doing is massaging along the sides of the spine. You don't ever want to get into any bony prominences, but really get into the muscle there. Um, obviously you don't want to do deep tissue but also remember that you know a dog that's the size of a dachshund can take a lot less pressure than a Great Dane so gauge your pressure on the size of your dog if you find any tight spots you want to go in there sort of work them out a little bit um, but keep it keep it generally fairly light um, and a sign that your dog is not enjoying this is if they get up, walk away, try to bite you, cry. That usually means you're using too much pressure, which is what most people do. Um, you also wanna keep your massage to no more than about 15, 20 minutes, because um, you can risk flooding the body with some lactic acid. But having said that, you know, we're all at home on quarantine right now. It's a great way to spend some time with your dog and make you both happy. I love massaging my dogs and they love it too. I'm Leslie Gallagher. Thanks for watching.